So today I'm going to show a quick demo of a new tool we've been developing here at Demagi called Comcare Sync. And Comcare Sync is uh, a tool that allows you to, to synchronize your Comcare data with an external database. Um, so I'm going to walk through uh, a quick workflow of how that works uh, and, and show you uh, how to use the tool. So uh, I'm going to start in Comcare first. Um, and so this is the Comcare exports page that you may be familiar with. Um, and I've created an export here for uh, a form in, in one of my applications. Um, so we'll go in, you can see, um, you know, it's uh, tied to this particular form. I've chosen a set of of properties from that form uh, to to export. This this form is about um, events and and uh, and so there's uh, uh, a date, there's a duration, there's a score, um, and an activity. And and I, I, I use this Comcare app to, to track uh, my exercise actually. Uh, and this is this is a real uh, Comcare app that I use. So I'm going to, the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to download uh, this data export tool config file. Um, the data export tool is a, a developer tool that you can use to uh, synchronize Comcare data with an external database. Um, and the way that works is through an Excel file. So by uh, clicking this button, I've downloaded uh, this data export to tool file that is tied to this export. Um, so if I open up this file and I just expand some of these things, you'll see the, um, the different source fields that I had put in that export file are um, listed here. This is, don't worry if you don't understand this format, this is just the format that the data export tool uses. Um, so if you're familiar with that, it, it might make sense. If not, don't worry about it. Um, and uh, you can see uh, it also has this type detection. And so for um, it's automatically detected that my event date column, for example, is a date um, and that my duration and scores are, are numbers. Um, and so it's going to use those types to um, as part of the database uh, synchronization process. So that's what the file looks like. Um, if you're just uh, if you're just using Comcare to generate these files, uh, then um, then you don't need to worry too much about that. Um, and I should I should note that this button is only available right now um, behind a feature flag. So if you uh, need access to this button and you don't see it on your project space, um, you'll need to follow up with, with someone from Demagi to help you with that. So yeah, so now I'm gonna show you Comcare Sync. Um, and so I'm going to sign in here. Um, and this is a separate website from uh, from Comcare uh, itself, um, and so you'll have you'll have your own account here. You can uh, set this up and run it on on your own servers. Uh, this is available. Source is available on GitHub, um, and Demagi is working on, uh, on providing a way to uh, host this yourself as well, uh, or so, sorry, to host this for you. Um, but so I'm going to log in here, um, and the first thing I'm going to do is go into Comcare setup. Um, and so what I've done, uh, I, I preceded this with, with my Comcare accounts um, because I didn't want to screencast the API key. But all I did was click this button and add my, my username and my API key, which, which you can get from, uh, from your Comcare uh, account settings. Um, so I've added account there. Um, now I'm going to add a project. And so again, I'm just going to put in um, the domain uh, for my Comcare project, which uh, is sabbatical, and I'm going to add that project. Okay, so now I've got my project and I've got my account. The account is what is going to be used to authenticate with Comcare, so it's important that this account uh, has access to whichever project I've put here. Um, and now I'm going to add an export, uh, and so I'm going to name this um, my exercise events. I'm going to choose the project I just created, the accounts, um, and oh, databases. Yeah, so um, so Comcare Sync doesn't know about your databases at all. Um, and so in order to save uh, 
this data to a database, I'm going to have to first tell CompCareSync about it. So this is the Django admin interface um, where I will add this database. Um, and so you can connect CompCareSync to as many databases as you want. Those databases could be running on the same server as CompCareSync, or they could be running, uh, you know, they could be cloud databases as long as they're um, publicly available through a, uh, a normal connection string. Um, then uh, you can add those. So I'm just going to say, uh, let's call this Comcare Sync. Comcare Sync demo. And for the connection string, so um, this is a SQL Alchemy uh, URI. I have a local Postgres database running, and uh, I think I called that Comcare Sync demo as well. And I'm going to set an owner on this. And that's that's so in the future, we haven't developed this yet. But uh, so in the future, um, I could come back and manage this uh, database connection. Um, but other other uh, people who can use CompareSync would only be able to, to um, they'd be able to use it in their exports, but not be able to actually edit the connection. OK, so I'm going to save that database. Um, and then I'm going to refresh this page. Uh, and you can see that that database has been added. Um, I am going to choose these options again. And now I'm going to upload the config file that I just downloaded from Comcare. Um, and I'm going to create this. OK, so we've created the um, export configuration. Um, and now what we're going to do is we're, we're going to run it. Um, and so behind the scenes, what this is doing is it's, again, using the Comcare data export tool. It's applying that um, configuration file as well as the uh, account and project information that we set when we created it. And it's doing an initial um, synchronization of all of this data uh, from our Comcare project space. And so I think this will run, hopefully, for just, uh, just a few more seconds here. Um, and then we'll be able to take a look at what it did. Cool. So uh, that took a little longer than I expected. Um, but it's done. I'm going to refresh the page. Uh, and now we can see the log of, of what it's done. Um, and so you can see uh, this is the version of the Comcare data export tool that we're running. You can see the amount of data it pulled in. So it pulled in, it looks like 828 forms. Um, it does checkpointing for you. So um, the next time I run this, uh, it will be uh, much faster and it will only pull in uh, just a tiny amount of data uh, or no data really because uh, there's no new data. Um, so that time it took, you can see it only took seven seconds. And uh, if we look at the log, yeah, it just pulled one of one, um, which I think is just uh, just to make sure that the latest form is, is in fact something that we still have. Um, OK, so behind the scenes, this, this has now created a table for, um, for this data export config file. Um, and now I'm going to show you uh, just a quick exploration into that um, using a tool called Metabase, uh, which is a BI tool. Um, and so the first thing I'm going to do in Metabase is just uh, synchronize my database. Um, and that will uh, bring in the latest tables. Um, and now I'm going to go uh, just back to the Metabase home. And for this demo, um, yeah, so now we can see uh, this exercise event forms. Uh, and I'm going to open that up in a new tab. And yeah, so you can see all this data has now been synced. Um, so we see all of our form IDs, when they were completed, um, the different activities that, that I've been doing, how the durations and and everything else, um, and once they're in Metabase, uh, you know, then then you can start doing some cool stuff, and and you know, you could do this with Power BI or Tableau or uh, Superset or any other business intelligence tool, obviously. Um, but let's say uh, I want to filter by uh, just my own data. I, I can add that filter. 
Um, and let's say I want to summarize and I want to do it by the date of the events. So you can see um, these are sort of the monthly uh, number of times I've exercised. Um, we've got a, we're in the, we had a lockdown in South Africa and in uh, April, which is why that, that number went way down. Um, you can also sort of like do multiple group buys. So now I can do, um, so this is now uh, the different types of activities that I've done. Um, and, uh, and maybe I'll add another filter uh, just so we can see a handful of these. Uh, so let's look at running and surfing and hiking and add that filter. So yeah, then you get a better picture of, uh, you can see I run a lot more than I do those other two things. Um, and uh, yeah, we can do a bar chart if we want. Um, yeah, so um, this is sort of just the tip of the iceberg of, of what you can do with, with Metabase. Um, but uh, yeah, being able to now connect Comcare to um, any backend database uh, opens up tons of, of possibilities for, uh, for the future of, of reporting and using your data. Okay, thank you.